everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today we're going to talk about why beginners should start the game right now but before that if you want an updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button okay guys so apart from you know um starting when the game started last may now is actually really a good time to start the game um when we started uh, May 18th for the launch for Southeast Asia there were actually a lot of freebies that you can't resist and play the game so now it's happening again a um, hundredth day after that so let's go through all of the rewards that um, you are going to receive actually all of us are going to receive but particularly for beginners this will actually be very helpful to you guys very you know um this is the type of event that you should take advantage if you're starting so first would be the 100 day special recruitment so you get to have 100 free recruits so 10 recruits per day so as you can see here this is actually the banner not really the banner. this is the, a, the announcement on the side so you'll have the chance to summon some or not actually not all of them but some of them and some of them are really really important in the game right now um, um i have to mention elizabeth pendragon nanaharu chifuyu edel liumi um jushun nanahara chinatsu karen wong and esther rosa so i actually mentioned them in terms of the importance in the game right now um for whatever reason you get any of these you know these units or these heroes they are very useful to you especially if you're starting out today okay um just get them get what you can from this banner and level them up okay um i won't really suggest which is going to be which but again every again i repeat every hero or unit here is going to be okay for you as a beginner so this is your 100th day mission this is going to run up until september 14th this um, 100th day mission is just to simply um meet the the criteria for the rewards and the rewards are very impressive especially for quartz in this game quartz is actually king aside from admin coins Quartz is actually king as a currency. You can you can use them in the store. You can use them in recruitment. But again, a lot of quartz in this re in in this uh, hundred day mission reward. So you have here um, um, recruitment contracts as well. So you have here three categories: growth um, and also in battle. Just follow what the game uh, is needing or, and accomplish those tasks then you'll receive these rewards again this is actually very very important guys and the grand reward is 500 quartz then you also have here <clears throat> your fusion core in terms of leveling your your units or your heroes from level 100 to level 110 um use this sparingly use this mainly for your awakened ssrs or your ssrs okay so we have here the new event so it's tied to the new uh, banner that we have for sigma this new event actually is also not that bad it's pretty much pretty much okay to finish um more on the begin it actually it's actually uh uh what they call this it's actually friendly for beginners so you can actually do normal act one and two the hard part you just have to probably level up a bit you know, the the units that you got and you will have this so again there are various rewards here and you will have an old storybook as a currency which you can spend in the event shop so as you can see here um let's take a look at some of uh, some of these so you have here also um 100 day flower 100 day balloon this um currency will also be used in crafting 
okay so you'll know you'll know more about crafting and those crafted items would also result in rewards as well so again more rewards for you guys especially if you're going to start today let's go to the event shop again if you farm the event and you forget a lot of currency um if you can get all of them the better the last that i think that you should get is the frame the background for ceo's office the most important things that you sh you can actually get here is the fusion core you also have your lifetime contract your classified employment contract which is very important you can get um five from here then you have atp cores prime training data set by nari is also good and you have your gears here as well so almost all are good priority will fall on classified employment um fusion core as well and probably the these are tier six gears which actually are good but these are for mechs if you plan to build a mech team and the rest will be okay as well if farm these all of them if you can because they are actually valuable as a beginner okay so if you are in the shop you have a hundredth day Katryoshka. so these Katryoshka dolls actually are being you can buy these every day they cost um 100 credit this is your currency or your gold so it only costs 100 you buy this uh, once a day then you get rewards when you open them so you open them a couple of times you just have to click on them which is actually kind of <laughs> not necessary so again once you click on them you could open you get rewards you get random rewards for that day as well okay so these were the previous rewards so the ceo's first 100 days punch in this was this is actually going to culminate tomorrow but this is the one that i'm talking about so you have your 100 day punch in this is going to be um here for 20 days and but we have only 19 days left so these are the rewards that you're going to be getting once you log in at least once per day um the best ones are usually your SATP core coupon which you really need in leveling up your units then this one your classified deployment contract you actually are going to need this when you recruit for classified employees then most of this are good eternium is actually good as you progress in the game and also you have your ship component coupon which is actually good but the best reward here is going to be your testimonial SSR. So this is going to be summoning you uh, randomly. Okay, randomly. You cannot you can select heroes from here, but they are SSRs. And here are the options that you can actually summon for. So we have Esther Rosa again, Nanahara Chinatsu, uh, Chifuyu, Shaolin, Ayami Sanai, uh, Nanahara Chinatsu is here. Seo Yun, Kyle Wong, Elizabeth Pendragon, Shinja, Terminator, Stronghold, and Titan. So again, you cannot really control what you get here, but any SSR that you get here is actually going to help you as a beginner. Um, notable, guys, if you really want my opinion on what's going to be the best here, if you get. So you're going to, the best here would be Kyle Wong as a beginner. Next would be Nanahara Chifuyu or Zhao Lin. So those are the top three. Um, if you can get those three randomly um well you're in good hands next would be elizabeth pendragon and also hayami sanai okay so those are my secondary choices so again these are just my opinion so they this but this as a beginner will really help you progress um try to try to develop as you know your core ssr so that you could pr progress you know um, far from the game so you'll be getting you'll be getting uh, special recruitment right so for your special recruitment every time you recruit you'll be getting task points okay the task points that you'll be using will be for your operators so if you can see here um the shop list um there's actually a new operator system that if you can see here in the planet mail so an operator you're going to have to be patient here and acquire your operate these are actually ssr operators do not recruit your operators through the banner okay get them here just be patient save up to three thousand then you can choose 
actually the operator that is best for you i'll put up a link up there just in case you missed my operator's guide i'll put it up there so that you could reference um, a beginner's guide for operators and where to start then let's go to your operators um let's go to the banner first where the operators are located so at least you'll know which not to summon for so this one do not summon here i repeat do not get your operators here um get them from the shop that i mentioned a while ago so do not pull from here <laughs> what you pull here are your units okay okay so let's have an example of your operator this was actually pulled during a sample of uh, what do you call this sample of the game let's say a, a tutorial going to um, your operators so your operators are basically going to be part of your ship um, they will be there they will be additional skills for your ship and they have certain special passives and active skills so um, you have they also have additional stats for your ship which they're going to provide this is your command skill which is going to be your um this is going to be i think your passive skill and this is going to be your uh what do you call this this is going to be your active skill i'm not sure yet um i forgot but these are the skills that you're going to add if you're going to use your operator the game actually right now um another point that i want to mention has more options now um if you can see in in your um, what you call this your units there are a lot of choices now so you there are three groups that you can use mechs counters and soldiers so mechs right now are being reinforced with sigma soldiers actually were were recently reinforced with uh, with administration banner and um there are a lot of builds right now focus on mechs focus on soldiers and or focus on counters it's up to you depending if you're uh, free to play or you're actually paying for currency in this game so again it's really established um most of most of uh, the units um, that can help each faction is actually here already and again it's this this is the now the good a uh, good time to play versus when we started the game 100 days ago where we it's it hasn't been defined yet if you're going to bring counters what is your core if you're going to bring mechs, what is your core? If you're going to bring um, soldiers, what is your core? To help you win. This is going to be a new banner, which is Sigma. If you plan to focus on mechs, she is the one that you're going to be pulling for right now um, until her banner ends. Then the other one that you don't want to miss is going to be Yuna Springfield. She is actually an awakened SSR if you plan to spend in the game or if you plan to to pull your classified employment contracts pull it in her banner now her banner is actually going to end on september the first so again guys you have approximately a week to go before this banner closes so again she's one of the best uh, awakened ssrs in the game probably top three right now for the whole game i'm talking about korean um taiwanese and southeast asian servers she's going to be very very good so again if you have the chance pull for her as well um the game right now has a lot of weekly content that you won't really be bored about the game uh the pace of the banners uh, the recycling of the banners if you miss a banner there's a good chance that the, that they would recycle it usually new events every week also guys don't forget if you are a beginner um don't forget this one this will be your get support funds daily you actually get morning and evening funds for this you just have to claim this every day and additional support funds if you get both so again play the game as frequently as possible probably once in the morning once in the evening then you're done for the day okay and also i actually forgot this game is all about the waifu so tons of waifus in this game um if you like waifus this is going to be your game this is going to be uh a very good game for you um you won't be bored really with the waifus that they have 
um again i believe in the saying wife over meta you have to have fun in this game you have to have fun in every gacha game so again if you pre if you prefer has bandos then there are also a lot of us bandos in this game but again waifus rule this game they are very badass and they're here to dominate counters and they are very uniquely designed and uniquely you know uniquely designed um the story is well designed as well and i hope you stay and play this game okay so thank you for those who have stuck this far in this video. For all those beginners out there, good luck in your journey in Counterside South Asia. Hope you stay in this game. Hope you, you know, play well and also enjoy this game. Actually, I forgot. For those who are here, please consider subscribing. Also, click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Again, guys, thank you. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.